Should you buy the Mega Man 2 30th Anniversary Edition NES re-release? And while we're at it, let's talk about the Mega Man X 30th Anniversary re-release for the SNES. Now, if you haven't heard, Capcom through their official channels such as the Mega Man Facebook and Twitter pages have announced that they are re-releasing Mega Man 2 for the NES and Mega Man X for the SNES to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Mega Man series. Why these two? Probably because they're the two most popular games sales-wise. But are they worth it? What do these additions come with? Well, let's talk about that in today's video. Welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro. And if that sounds cool to you, why not subscribe? And yes, today we're talking about some things that fit the bill of both weird and retro inspired. The Mega Man re-releases from Capcom. What are these? Well, each one of these, take the Mega Man 2 one for example, is an actual cartridge that you can play on your NES. And while it's technically a reproduction cartridge, it is an official release. These are official versions of these games that will play on your classic consoles. They look fantastic too. Instead of coming in gray shells such as the original games did, the Mega Man 2 release comes in a light baby blue shell, which looks fantastic. They also come with new glossy art, and they also come with goodies inside, such as an actual full color instruction manual. Perhaps interestingly enough, Capcom says that there's going to be other goodies inside, and why hear other goodies inside for something that's related to retro gaming, I think of the feelies that used to come with PC games. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be an art book or like a little Mega Man pendant or something. They're keeping that under wraps. As for the Mega Man X cartridge, it's pretty much the same except it's a Super Nintendo style box and the cartridge is a nice bright white. Even though I think Mega Man X is a much better game than Mega Man 2, uh, this probably makes me a bad Mega Man fan, but Mega Man 2 is one of my least favorite NES entries in the series. I think the Mega Man 2 release looks better. I really like the baby blue color. But what's really cool about this is, this is a limited run of 8,500 copies of each. So not a super duper limited run. There's definitely going to be some out there. But 1 in 8 of them, instead of coming in the actual cartridge cases, will actually come in a glow-in-the-dark dark blue cartridge. And that looks crazy. That looks cool. I love the look of that. And I, I'll be honest, as soon as this was announced, I was jumping to pre-order one of the Mega Man 2 cartridges, except I didn't see a link to. And besides, these are going to be a hundred bucks each. Ouch. A hundred bucks for re-releases of one game, which is from the 80s, and one from the 90s. A hundred bucks doesn't get you both of these games, it's for each game. Capcom did this last year with a re-release of Street Fighter 2, and I mean, if you're a huge, you know, super huge fan of the series, absolutely go for this. It's gonna be a collector's piece, you'll love it. But me as someone who's a bit more frugal and also has plenty of ways to play these games, I don't think they do much for me besides setting the shelf. Don't get me wrong, I, I understand that's kind of the point of collectible cartridges, but if I can actually play them, I want to. What I find interesting though is that they chose to re-release Mega Man 2. I know it's the most, well, widely sold entry in the series, but you'd think they'd do Mega Man 1, especially seeing how much love Mega Man 2 is getting this year. This is the third re-release of this game so far, along with coming on the Mega Man Legacy Collection for the Nintendo Switch, a game which I did a video on why you should not buy it. It got a standalone plug-and-play system in the States that was sold exclusively at Walmart. Granted, that system wasn't the highest quality, but these re-releases look like they're fantastically done, like they're high quality reproduction cartridges. What I'm saying is there's many ways to play these games and these releases are purely for the hardcore collector. But if you are a hardcore collector and you don't mind dropping a hundred bucks on a special fancy looking re-release, then these might be for you. But what are your thoughts on these special re-releases of Mega Man 2 and Mega Man X? What's your thoughts on companies doing official reproduction cartridges of their old games in general? I think it's pretty cool, but uh, not $100 cool in my opinion. But let me know down in the comment section below. And why don't you subscribe to Stuff We Play for more great content like this. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy and I'll see you next time.